welcome back to the channel i know y'all probably bored of this hat but i really love this hat um i haven't really been posting anything because your girl got lasik eye surgery and i did film that and i was going to post it but i really haven't been really feeling it to be honest which i don't care but um today i finally received a small little package that i've been wanting to like review this is got remember because my husband got on to me this is only for entertainment purposes for reviewing purposes we will not be wearing these items these are just to compare and to see how they look that is it so please remind yourselves that because i certainly got reminded but anyway so i did purchase a wallet um a men's wallet louis vuitton finally arrived after like two months over two months maybe i don't freaking know but it finally arrived so we gonna check it out um it's gonna be a short video i don't know i don't know what to say um uh, don't mind your girl's nails please like i said lasik eye surgery i really i actually don't really like going outside just because i uh it's been two weeks and i'm very sensitive to light so if it's kind of dark in here i do apologize i just can't have like the, my ring light on or i can't have my windows open or or whatever you know so i do apologize for that but let's get in right into the video um this is how i came packaged so not very special just you know you were, i guess a package you would get from I don't know. I don't know because I get a lot of packages from Amazon that look just like this. And yeah. So okay. Ooh, they really packaged this up. Hold on, y'all. See, this is my problem. I should have done this. I learned. I haven't learned my lesson. Or maybe I'm just too lazy. I don't know. Okay. Um, okay, so I did come in the box, which that's cool. Um, the box did come a little crushed. This is it. It's a lot brighter than the original Louis Vuitton. Well, you can't tell from here. From here to the original ones in the background, they almost look the same, but this is a lot brighter. It did kind of come a little like scuffed up, which I really don't care for because again this is just for entertainment purposes i'm just reviewing them giving y'all something to look at okay so here we go opening the package so this one does come with a little dust bag as well and then it comes with one of these things the authentic tag um this dust bag feels a lot better and very similar but again not too similar oh let me get closer a little bench um it feels a lot more like the original bags that they come in like as far as cloth and like the sturdiness and the color of it it's not too yellow like the wallet was so that's pretty cool, pretty dope. Um, let's open it. So this is how it came. Uh, wrapped in a little plastic bag or whatever. Let's see. I have an appointment to get my nails done. <laughs> this Saturday, finally, I'm getting up the house because the girl's gonna go nuts in here. So this is how the last one came. Is this the same from the same vendor or buyer? I mean seller? I don't think so. I'm gonna have to go back and look. I don't remember to be real. I don't remember. 
but it came packaged the same way. So let's just rip this off. And here we go. It has a little chemical smell just like the other one, but this is like the men's checker wallet the stitching on it the back that right there would be a problem for me um obviously original ones wouldn't have that um but that's the back so this is the front this is how you would see it be my eyes just adjusting to this light um the Louis Vuitton on here is very faint like you can't really can you guys see that you can barely see it like it's eh, kind of there let me see the one in the back okay the one on the back is better it's more I don't know. Prominent? I don't know. Is that, is that a correct word to use? This is the inside of it. Now I did research it and this does not come in the original one. So they did this on their own. The overall like little slot. They seem pretty sturdy, like they're not gonna, I don't know, come apart. So this is a little flop over. Again, this is their doing. It does not come like this in the original. And then it says Vuitton, Paris. Again. What's the inside of it? And inside of, it, inside of it is giving me very much cheap vibes, but you know what? You get you get what you paid for. Which on this, man, I wish I would have researched this before I got on here, but I'll I'll pop it in here somewhere. How much it was? I want to say it was like twenty bucks. I don't know. And I really went with items that um weren't too expensive because I wasn't really trying to invest since it was like my first purchase and honestly again it's just for entertainment purposes so I won't be wearing them so I'm just like um I don't know this right here looks cool it looks like you know what oh it could potentially be leather um the inside of it also looks cool not bad from like the little slots so it has two of them one two and then that's pretty much it this is how it looks like what is this i don't know what that is um again just the chemical vibe very strong overall not a bad wallet i mean Unless you own one and you're standing to homeboy that has the original one and you guys pull it out at the same time and be like, yo, why does yours look different than mine? Then nobody's gonna really tell. So this was again in the 500s. I'm gonna have to double check y'all because your girl don't remember. She's not, you know, on it. I need to be on it, but hold on, because I need to work on my little thumb thumbnail. All right, I know I'm doing the most, but this is how it looks. It looks cool. I don't know. Chemical smell. It's all right. Overall, I would give this as far as like quality all right quality um stitching i have a problem with the stitching because that's a dead ass giveaway right away so if the stitching isn't there and it isn't good 
you could tell it's fake like hands down and then louis would never put plastic like this on their wallets like no boo so i don't know maybe my little brother will want it be like hell no i'm not gonna try and rock that fake ish but yeah hope you guys enjoyed the little review it did take them a whole minute to get here so that is one con i don't like that i'm gonna do pros and cons i don't like that it took like forever and whenever i kept like not that i was constantly checking on it because i really didn't care but it stayed in China for like a good month and I'm like and it kept like getting like shipped to different places in China and I was just like shouldn't it come from the one warehouse and from there you guys ship it over to the US I don't know but that was a little bit confusing um ah, overall a good 7.5 I mean for it being a replica a dupe so hope you guys enjoyed it um i will be doing more videos here hopefully soon because your girl wants to go out there's like so many fun things that i have planned and when i say fun things i'm like going out and doing things like i kind of changed the uh, the name of the channel or whatever to uh, um, just vlogs because that's what I decided I'm gonna do I'm just gonna do whatever the hell I want you know it's not gonna be a particular niche how people like to say like I don't want to do just it uh you know my opinion on dupes my reaction on that my reaction on she and my husband stuff I, you know I kind of want to do a little bit of everything and if it doesn't go into any kind of niche then it is what it is like i said i do this just to kind of help with my um anxiety and um a little bit of depression i'm gonna keep it real so i just do this for fun and it literally took me just 10 12 minutes to do it put on a hat put on a shirt don't have makeup on and said yeah my birthday is coming up though so your girl is gonna go get her hair done no, she's not going to do anything color related because this is my natural and it will stay like so. I don't have the patience to keep getting my hair redone every couple of like months, two months or three months. And then if I, I'm a hairstylist if y'all didn't know this. Um, I don't want to practice hair though. Um, the, whenever it starts fading out, whatever color, as far as like either the whole thing or just highlights, it would bother me so I would have to retone it every like two months and that's too much like chemical on my hair I'm really trying to go more of like the organic I'm doing even skincare that's more organic less chemicals I have more prone into like what kind of dyes are being used in food what kind of chemicals are being used I'm trying to go more of the organic route um just trying to live a better healthier lifestyle so yeah um I do a lot of TikTok, so I can't, you know, TikToks are small. They're, they give me this whole little three minute thing. Sometimes I take advantage of it, sometimes I don't. I don't know, but I, like I have a few little things here and there. Maybe I'll show you like a cooking video one day. I don't know. Or a shopping video. Me shopping. Because I want to shop for my birthday. No, I'm going to this one restaurant. It's called XOXO in Dallas, and it's all pink. So guess what your girl's wearing? Pink. I don't know if I'm doing it all pink because Otis says I look like Pepto Bismol, but I love pink and purple. So stay tuned for that. I don't know what I'm doing yet. I know it's a pink shirt, and I already have it. <laughs> But yeah, okay, so thanks a lot for tuning in, tuning in, get it right, tuning in, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you like the video, and if you didn't, that's cool, you can uh, not like it if you don't want to, but comment, say, I don't like your video, I'm cool with anything, as long as I get any kind of like, reply back, because I mean, 
If you do, then I mean I know you're watching. Make sense? Make sense? All right. Peace.